Hey everybody, it's Sam Jacobs. Welcome back to the Sales Hacker Podcast. We've got this week's show uh, guest on the show. It's Friday Fundamentals and Mary Rogel is back. Mary was most recently the head of sales for a company called Crayon. She spent a long time at HubSpot and now she's out there helping other companies build and scale uh, sales organizations of all different shapes and sizes. And we're going to ask her about that decision from moving to the from moving from the corporate world to the consulting world and what were the factors that led to this decision. And and maybe you'll you'll take some of those factors into consideration. Consideration if you want to start a consulting practice out there. Now, before we get there, we want to thank our sponsor. Friday Fundamentals is brought to you by Outreach. Outreach triples the productivity of sales teams and empowers them to drive predictable and measurable revenue growth. By prioritizing the right activities and scaling customer engagement with intelligent automation, Outreach makes customer-facing teams more effective and improves visibility into what really drives results. Mary, we are excited to have you back on the show, and our question to you is, how did you think about and what were the factors that led you to leave the corporate world and to start your own consulting business? Yeah, um, there's so much to that, Sam. I guess what I'll start with is I went back and forth for a long time, for years. I was getting questions. I was getting pinged quite a bit on LinkedIn after HubSpot went public and I had spent my time there as an early employee through the IPO. I was just getting asked a lot of questions and then I, I was finding that within the HubSpot alumni group, many of the folks that I had sort of grown up with, if you will, during the early years at HubSpot were going out and starting their own companies. And they were tapping me on the shoulder saying, hey, you know, I I don't have my first sales rep yet. Would you be interested in working with us or maybe consulting a couple of hours a week or a month? So that had been happening for a couple of years. And so um, about a year and a half ago, I had a, a major client who had been asking me to come on board for a while, say, hey, you know what, we've got an eight month contract, but we need you for about 25 hours a week. So I wasn't going to be able to hold down a full-time job and that. So I gave that a go. I just started working with this organization, helping their account executives dive deeper into their account plans, helping their enterprise team foster better relationships. And so that was sort of the first opportunity I had to figure out, is this something I could do? Is it fulfilling enough? Do I enjoy it? And to be quite honest with you, I didn't have the courage at that time to do it full force. I I didn't really quite believe in myself enough to think I could do this full time. So I had been advising Crayon for a bit, and then they offered me the full time job. And I almost, it was almost a breath of fresh air to think, oh, phew, I have another full time job. I'm okay. I'm safe. Well, What I learned during that year was a couple of things. Crayon's an early stage startup. They needed me there every single day, after hours, on weekends, and I just couldn't do it. I know I had small kids at home and I didn't have the flexibility that I wanted and that it hit me. It's, you know, it was time for me if I was going to do this consulting and advising to kick this off full time. And so, you know, about a month or so ago, I decided I had enough interest. I still had that large client. I had enough interest to just start this going full force. And now I'm happy to say I have five customers, five clients, and I have two more that are on my waiting list. And it's going very, very well uh, because of the network that I have, because of this great HubSpot alumni group that I'm part of. You know, there's so many great networks out there that allow us to all help each other. And sometimes I'm mentoring, sometimes I'm coaching. Very often I'm tactically advising and I'm working with the the strategic piece now. So I think that the flexibility that allows me to be with my family and my children, the opportunity to do something bigger than I could have ever imagined. This is morphing into something much bigger that, you know, very, very likely will be an LLC by 2020 with employees. And I guess my whole world has changed in that I have become more confident to realize that I can do this. I have a village around me. I have people that are backing me. I have companies that are really getting a lot from what I'm doing. And I feel like, you know, this is something now it's, it's starting to become an organization that I'm leading. So I, I kind of surprised myself. And I don't know if I would say it was a planned action to leave corporate. It certainly wasn't. But I have to say, it's probably the best thing I ever did. Wow, that's inspiring. And so for you, you know, thinking about it from the perspective of other folks out there, it was really the creation and the nurturing and the cultivation of, you know, the communities that you're a part of, both the HubSpot alumni and, and other communities. Is that is that a fair encapsulation? Yeah, absolutely. It is all about your network. 
I can't emphasize enough how important it is to nurture relationships and there's no small relationship things you know things come you know around the corner that I would never have anticipated from someone that just needed my help for an hour a year ago that came you know that came to me and said I want you to be on my board I want you to advise you know I'd like to give you some equity to advise 2 hours a week those things come out of the woodwork now and that's you know that's a culmination of years of networking and helping others Fantastic. Mary, that's inspiring. Congrats on starting your consulting business. Congrats on making the leap and building your own company. I'm sure you're going to do amazing. Remind us if folks want to reach out to you, what's the best method of communication? Yeah, right now it's still, you know, Mary Rogel, LinkedIn. I'm not a formalized organization as of yet. It's in the works. So absolutely, please do reach out on LinkedIn. Awesome. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can. It's uh, linkedin.com forward slash the word in and then forward slash Sam F. Jacobs. And of course, we want to thank our sponsor, Outreach, who helps us put food on the table. We will talk to you next time. Have a great Friday.